Hey folks, I just wanted to give a little disclaimer, not really a disclaimer before we get started here, um, but just a little heads up that uh, this mod is a bit tricky when going into the game. It works, and it looks like it can be very promising. Um, you will see in the tutorial, we will be doing an in-game showcase, um, but you can see it's going to take some getting used to. It, you're going to have to learn it to use it um i did not you know i went in and just kind of in the in the game showcase i kind of played around with the buttons um but i did not spend the time in this video because it's something that's going to take time um to really learn the keys in that so i show you how to install it i show you how to take it out um and it, i show you how to take it out in case you don't want it um, but it's going to be up to you to go into the game and really play around with the controls um, I do bring up the PDF on how to show you to use the controls. Um, so definitely, if you want to try it out, put it in your game, go into your game, play around with it, master it. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's pretty cool and I think it's got potential. So I just wanted to put this little uh, message before the video starts. Um, so uh, that's it. Let's get into the video. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR Tutorials. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here, and folks, we got a kind of a, a another realism, sort of a realism mod. If you've watched my patrols, you've seen me complain about how uh, you're at a crime scene and you uh, you uh, you know you you arrest the ped and all of your backup leaves, leaving you there by yourself to clean up the scene. Well, I was talking with Maddie, uh, with Maddie as ball. And he put me on to this mod right here. So we are, it's called the Sergeant Script Mod, okay? So we are going to install this right now into our game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. I am installing this for the first time along with you. So I'm not sure how good it works. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but first thing first thing is first okay i'm gonna tell you this right now i always say this in my tutorials go ahead and go to your main directory okay um for steam users you're gonna go to your disk drive that you have it installed in through steam you're gonna click that disk disk drive and you're gonna go to program files times 86 steam steam apps and common um, now you can see I don't have that in my folder because I have my F drive where my Grand Theft Autos are. Um, if you see Grand Theft Auto there, that's where your folder is. Double click that. But before you double click it, stay right there on that page where you see your Grand Theft Auto folder. Okay, let me go to mine. All right, so mine's in here and right here. And here's all my Grand Theft Auto folders. I know I have a lot. What you're going to do, I'm going to install it into this one. What you are going to do is you're gonna right click, well, you're gonna highlight it, right click, copy, go down here, uh, left click, right click, paste. Back up your game file, okay? Um, if you're watching this video, that means it worked. I'm not gonna post a video of a mod that doesn't work. So if you're watching this video, this mod worked for me, okay? So go ahead and double click your Grand Theft Auto folder that you're installing it into. Um, and now we are on the main directory front page is what I like to call it. It's got your plugins folder, your mods folder, okay? Everything right here. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Now I'll click the link that says Sergeant Script Mod down below. That is going to bring you to this page right here. Now there is a required few required files that you will need, okay? Um, and it uses the C button, so... I think we're going to be using that. So, you obviously need LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook. You need Script Hook V, which, if you're playing LSPDFR, you've got all these already. These three downloaded. <laughs> Community Script Hook V.net. Okay? You got to get that. I will link a video down below on how to install that. All right? Um, so, go watch that. Uh, but right now, we are going to go to the Contextual Menu API, all right? So let's click this link right here. It's going to open up a new tab, which is great because we got to go back there. 
All right, so big shout out to Razor Wings 18. Um, now this has requires too, script hook V, community script hook V.net as well, okay? Now if I go into my main directory, I have uh, script hook V, and I believe I have community script hook V. Uh, yeah, script hook V.net right there. So I have my script hook Vs, okay? And I have my .NET. So those are in there, all right? So once you get those installed, like I said, I got a tutorial link down below on how to do that. So let's go ahead and download the Community Contextual Menu API. Click the green download. Then we wanna click that green download and it'll probably download super quick. Yep. All right. So we're gonna close that and minimize this. Let's close out of this tab and go back here. All right, now that we downloaded this file, let's go ahead and click the blue download this file right there. Agree and download. All right, this one, probably another one that may download fairly quickly. And yeah, there we go. All right, so let's close that and minimize that. All right, so now we can exit out of our web browser. Let's go ahead and bring up our main directory front page, guys and gals, just like this right here. Now, I can tell you right now, we are probably going to have to create a scripts folder, okay? Um, so let's bring up this WinRAR, the CC map I, okay? It's got a scripts folder and a readme. Always check these readmes, guys and gals. Uh, unzip your into your main folder, okay? So, here's what we wanna do. You can see it's got a scripts folder there, right? Now, if you already have a scripts folder, you can go into it and you're just gonna you're just gonna put all this right here inside your scripts folder. If you do not have a scripts folder, I know he has one here, but it's got that uppercase, which I think you can use, right? Um, what you could do is you could just create new folder and just name it scripts, just like you see here, S C R I P T S, all lowercase. All right, and once you do that. Um, then you are ready. I'm just going to do new folder seven and then delete it. Okay. So now that you have your scripts folder, double click it. If you just created it, you got nothing in it. That's fine. All right. So over here in the scripts folder, double click it and let's go ahead and highlight all three of these files, drag them and drop them and boom, they're in. Okay. Click that refresh. All right. Now let's go back to our main directory right there. And we are all set with this one, right? We can exit out of that. Now let's go ahead and bring up our Sergeant file. Now, as you can see, it's got a scripts folder as well. Double click this scripts folder right here in the WinRAR. And here's everything in here that we want to highlight. Okay. Again, over in your main directory, double click that scripts. All right. Now we got these four folders. Now you see contextual menu API. It's already in there so this is this one is going to overwrite it that's why it's important that we install the contextual menu first before installing the sergeant all right because it's going to overwrite that and that's what we need to do so now that we're inside our scripts folder grab these four files rw18 contextual menu sergeant i and i and sergeant dll all four of them drag them drop them it's going to ask you if you want to re place nope it didn't so maybe it just drops in there okay cool all right so that is all set let's go ahead sorry about that guys and gals it's criminal justice sending me a message let me just uh let me turn my phone down real quick i will hit him back as soon as this is over hit that refresh button um now let's go back to the winrar where you see plugins lspdfr all right hold your control key select LSPDFR, select plugins. Let's go back to our main directory front page. Again, your scripts folder, mods folder. This is the front page. You're going to grab plugins in LSPDFR. Drag them right here to your buffer zone. All right, make sure nothing's highlighted. If it's highlighted like that, do not drop it. Drop it right here. And let her rip, tater chip. All right. So we've got everything installed there. Let's go ahead and exit out of the WinRAR. And real quick, select plugins, uh, LSPDFR, 
and let's see if there's a sergeant I and I oh there's just a DLO which is okay so it says we got to hit the C button when we get in the game so let's try it out let's let's try it out right um, so we are all set we have everything installed exit out of that all right ladies and gentlemen so I went into the game <laughs> and it was a bit confusing okay um, I didn't really know what buttons to push because it said hit the C button and then I didn't know what to do so I came back out and I looked in the WinRAR here and right here in the Sergeant WinRAR you'll see sergeant.pdf double click that okay that's going to bring you to this page right here now it's going to show you it's going to tell you to give commands for vehicles uh press the c button point the cursor um you know to select the give command um you can either by scrolling using the g or t keys or by holding the c key and moving your mouse um press z follow the instructions on the screen securing the scene with police officers same thing um so yeah the, you know write these down print this out take a picture of this with your phone so you can learn all these controls you know to really master this mod okay um so now that we did that let me i already have my game loaded up so let, let's jump back into the game now you can see i got this little that little icon there now if i hit c it goes away so don't you know don't think it's always there now let's get in front of this car here right we're gonna get in front of this car we're gonna hit the C button point it at the car all right and we are going to hold the C button in oh wow geez did you see that hold the C button in and give command holy cow look at that and while that's holding that in uh, it says you can use your mouse but there we go I don't see the cursor so we're gonna go to vehicle and we're going to hit the Z button no let's see why aren't you, why aren't you selected So, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely going to take some getting used to. Let's find another vehicle. Let's, let's find another vehicle. Let's try this one. All right. So, we're going to hit our C button. And it is no longer showing us the option of what we want. So, we want to go to... We want to go to car, right? Yeah, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really understanding this. It's just not letting me select anything. Obviously because I'm holding my C key, but if I let it go, yeah, it just does that. All right, so hit the Z button. Uh, go and drive. So we can stop this vehicle. Uh, Z to select. So you see that we just stopped. We just stopped that vehicle. All right, so that vehicle's not going to go. Now, it did say uh, if we press Z again. No. Nope. Um, if we hit C... Right, we pointed at this car, hit that Z button. Uh, we can now um, select uh, go and drive. Hit that Z button. Aim at a position and press Z or C to cancel. So we just canceled that car. All right, so okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, I would just use, for this, I would just use my stop the pet context to just stop traffic, right? Because it's super simple. Now, you could stop just a few cars, right? Now, let's say, 
Uh, let's see something. Let's go back over to our cruiser. All right, let's go to our cruiser. And let's go to a call. All right, let's hop in here. And let's go to a call, right? Let's go to, uh, let's go to this one. And let's see. Now let's, let's go to person with a knife. All right. We have a All right, so we're going to shoot on over here. All right, so there's our person there with the knife. Shots fired, right. shots fired. Give me back up. Code 99, unit required backup. Near Cypress Flat. Alright. So. We are going to have our officers showing up, right? Now, what's usually happen when they show up? They come here, they hang around for a few seconds, and then they leave. So. If we what does this one do uh let's hit the z button i don't know what that just did but so let's say we want to go right here right attention all units in uh cypress you can order all traffic to move again at any time using her. okay so, what this is going to do is, this is going to make these cops, they should stay. The, they may roam around. Um, like, now these cops are on their phone. So, they're no longer going to leave. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm sure we might have to, uh, you know, dive into it a little more. You know, figure out how to use this menu here. Um, and I, uh, I'm not really sure what that little symbol is. But uh, if we hit that Z button. I don't know if it's telling them to go. Or what. Right? So. They're just going to kind of hang out. They're going to roam around. They're going to do their thing. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I think once once you get the hang of it and learn on, you know, all the controls and that, could be a very positive uh, mod. I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to play with it because I really want to master it because I feel like it will definitely add to scene management as, as far as, you know, uh, partners and backup and controlling cars a little more better on your scene so that is how you install this thank you to maddie for bringing this mod to my attention uh game loaded up first time no crashes no glitches no freezes no fps loss everything's running great um if if you put this in and you don't like it okay and if you didn't back up your file to get rid of it you're going to go into your main directory, okay? You're going to go into your main directory again. Uh, front page where you see your mods and plugins folder and everything, okay? First thing you're going to do is go into your scripts folder. Double click that. And you are going to hold your control key and select contact contextual menu. RW18. Contextual menu DLL. Contextual menu API and these two sergeant sergeant dll and the sergeant i and i and you are simply going to right click and delete and it will get rid of um those files there then you're going to hit your back button and you're going to go to plugins lspdfr um and you are going to scroll down 
to Sergeant right here. Just the Sergeant DLL. Highlight it. Right click. Delete. And that's it. You will have... These mods will now be out of your game. Okay? Um, it's that simple. If you don't like it, you want it out of your game, that's how you remove it. Alright? So, that is going to be it, guys and gals. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and slap a like on it. The more likes it gets, the more YouTube puts it out there and gives other people the opportunity to come and check it out. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you know when new content's added. You know here on Jeffrey Gamer, we do vlogs, live streams, giveaways, patrols, tutorials. We got the whole nine yards here, folks. I promise you, you will not regret hitting that subscribe and ringing that bell um let's get big together y'all until next time be safe be healthy be positive follow the rules and obey the law your boy jeffrey gamer is out later